In this video, we're gonna keep plugging along on my bathroom remodel, and we're gonna do it right now. It's a new day, and I think today I wanna to run some electrical. So I'm gonna put my box here that is gonna be for my switch for my fan, and then I'm gonna do the box for the outlet and the switch here above the vanity, and then the light box right here, and then I'll run my wire for the fan and just leave it there for now. I don't want to take that out just yet, but I want to run that stuff, and uh, that'll make me feel like I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> so let's do it. Now, I do want to say this before I start, that I'm not a licensed electrician, and I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about the electrical, uh, because I think it's really something you should be careful with, and I don't want to be the the spokesperson for do-it-yourself electrical. Um, so just be careful if you're doing it and it's always a good idea to have a licensed electrician. But with that being said, let's get it going. Let's start with the switch. Uh, I'm gonna use nail-on boxes. Quick little tip is these tabs right here are supposed to be your guide. They're really about three-eighths of an inch. Um, so I hold them a little past on the stud but that's a guide for, you know, your sheetrock's going to come up here and that'll be your finished edge. A good uh, rule of thumb is to measure other switches in your house to see where they are from the floor. So I measured my other ones. They were about 44 inches to the bottom. Really simple. You just hold your box here on that line. Use those tabs as a guide and nail it on. Easy peasy. See, I would have had to get a, a more shallow box if I didn't bump this out for a two by four wall. And I want this deep box because the wires I'm using in here are a little thicker, but we're not gonna go into too much detail about that. So I'm putting a 36 inch vanity right here and I'm going to be reusing this hole for the heat. So I'm gonna measure about an inch off of that heat and go this way 36 inches and that's going to tell me where my vanity is going to be and then i can measure off so i can put my box here and my box here for the light right here right about there just going to plumb this line up by the way if it's horizontal you're leveling something if it's vertical like this you're plumbing something so that's the edge of my vanity and then the height is 34 inches just so I know So I plumbed my line all the way up here. So I know that this is the edge of my vanity. And now since it's a 36 inch vanity, I can measure off of here 18 inches and that will be the center of my vanity. So when I put my light there, it'll shine dead center down on the sink. So measuring off of that line, I know that 18 inches is dead center of this bay. So I'm not going to have an issue when it comes to um, putting this box in afterwards. So I'm basically going to run the wire from this box and drill over here and curl it up right here and sheetrock right over it. And then afterwards, once the vanity is set, I can get my exact center, measure up here, cut the, the hole for the box, and I use an old work box. The difference is this is a new work box because it has nails. So you nail it to a stud and the old work boxes are the ones that you put in and you screw these little ears that flap out and they sandwich themselves against the drywall. So that's what I'm gonna use here and that way it'll be dead center. But I know I have no studs in the way. It's not gonna cause me an issue when I go to do that. 
Got my boxes on and it's time to run wires. In simple terms, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a line coming up from the basement here and then power is gonna go into here and then it goes to a switch that goes out to my vanity light and there's gonna be a plug here that has power and then that power is gonna go up and over to this switch and then from there the line goes up and over to the fan so those are the lines i have to run and i'm going to start with the one that goes down to the panel now looking in the basement uh, you can get an idea of where things are down there by looking for something like this this pipe and when i went in the basement i could see that there's no chance that if I drilled in here that I could get the wire through because there's framing down there stopping me. But I think I can go this way and drill down here and um, run the wire that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a brand new half inch paddle bit. These things are awesome. Right about here. I grab a spool long enough to get to the panel and I'm going to just stick this down there and see where I'm at. If you remember from another episode, here's all the plumbing for the bathroom. And if you go up here, there's my wire. That worked out perfect. And that's the pipe. And you can see the framing there that would not allow me to run that wire. So, I'm just going to grab the wire and I'm going to, ooh, hot, those are heat pipes. I'm going to have to go up there and uncoil it and push it down, but my plan is to run all along that joist on the back there, over here, over here. And the panel is right here. And then I'm just gonna let it hang right there so I can get an inspection. What do you guys think of this? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> the old toilet was right here and they hacked it right out and then they left the old stack. So I'm probably gonna be revisiting that in a future episode. But for right now, I'm running electrical. more than enough. Curl it up and leave it right here. And now I'm going to start stapling the line from the panel back to the bathroom. Ugh, this could be tricky. existing holes. Staple here. up like this and I'm going to put a staple in very loosely so I can pull it out when I open this up afterwards but this is just to keep it away from the when I hang the drywall I'm not going to staple this one just yet 
Um, but for this next one, typically what I would do is go up and then over this way down to the switch. But there's that beam right here that's holding up the ceiling. And I really don't want to drill through that. Uh, I probably could, but you know what? I'm just going to not mess with it. So I'm going to end up going this way and then down and not going into the ceiling yet. So that's my plan. But drilling through this is going to be tricky. Let's see. I'm going to try and go even. Make all the holes even. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay. So, my drill bit only goes to here. So I'm almost there, but what I need to do is put this in here and then use an extension just to get through the rest of the way. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? I always label my wires so I don't forget where they go. And this one goes to the box. I could curl these up there. I just want to tuck these in enough where when I do my drywall, it hangs right over this and my roto zip can get in here and cut this out without cutting any wires. It's good. All right, so I got my main line coming up. Goes into here, wires are all tucked in. Got a line going out to the vanity light. Then we got wire coming down here to the switch then the power goes back up here again in uh simple terms and then comes back over here and we'll go to the fan like i said not going to hook that fan up just yet but at least the wire is there and we're ready to roll so that's where we're going to wrap up this episode if you want to see more on this bathroom remodel you can click hereish and hereish and check those videos out and if this is your first time and you like this content definitely consider hitting that button down there and subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell so you get a no notification every time I drop an episode. So that's it. We'll see you next time. I'll see you over there or there.